Guess who's back? That was cringy. Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Sess. I'm turning 24 years old in like two weeks from now. I used to have like a weekly vlog called Fridays with me and now I'm changing that to life and episodes because it's been a year since I ended that series. So we're on to a new chapter in our lives. Not really new, but I just want to make this one a bit more unfiltered, more raw and everything because I want to be real with you guys and what a better way to start that than the room tour that I've been delaying since 2020. Because for me, I think I always felt pressured and I really was anxious to show you guys my imperfect room and so I always have been wanting to improve it and I think now at this point my room's still not perfect but it has improved a lot like my room looks completely different from 2020 and I'm proud of how it turned out like I think it's more organized now not the cleanest but it's still pretty organized and so that's what I'll show you guys today just to start this whole thing off and I can't wait so without further ado let us begin so here's the door that I use to enter my room obviously and over here is my side table my bed but yeah basically you see everything once you enter which is good sometimes but then when it's messy like before going to an event everything is like scattered everywhere and i just feel bad so let's start with my side table every time on the screen it says link it'll mean that the link is in the description box so i'll put everything there for you i think this one i got this from muji and these are like my essentials i have here my pitcher of water which is so important i recommend that you guys um have these I get to drink my water as much as possible because like what i said before it's always important that the essentials are just at an arm's reach so you don't get lazy to you know go down and get water go out of your room and everything so i like having this just to remind me to drink water and then i have here my lamp honestly sometimes when i think about it maybe i should buy like a more pricey lamp but this was just like a hundred something and it matches my room so i just decided to keep it there i tried to read these two self-help books atomic habits and the daily stoic i think i tried to read them but i fail but it's okay, at least I tried. Then alcohol, my eye watch, glasses for like long hours and the rat. What do you call this? Sleeping eye, eye mask? I use this every time like I can't sleep and this one's already up. Just used it the other day. So I almost forgot that I also had drawers, which are not mine because if you guys didn't know, I used to share rooms with my aunt and so she has a few things here and I don't mind. So these are her items, some chargers and I got this also online. Over here is actually my um, outlets. Yeah, I usually just leave this open because it's kind of hassle to cover it and everything when I always charge things. This is just in one corner. This is what you guys always see, especially in my fashion videos before. These are the clothes that I have to film or shoot as soon as possible. Then over here are the clothes that I should wear soon because it's been sitting in my closet for a while and at the same time, I can't let it go yet unless I wear it to an event. It's like extravagant stuff. This is a beach hat that I keep forgetting to wear. I think I had like three trips already and I just keep forgetting them. So at this point, it's just a decor. And then over here is my bag, my everyday bag. I just got this online also. It's so easy to shove everything in because it's just so spacious. I also have here space for my shoes. The boots that I love and also does not fit in my shoe rack outside. My sneakers that I use when I work out indoors in my room. Here, I don't really bring it out anymore. But then just some other boots also that are long and leathery and it shouldn't be in the heat for a long time. This carpet is also from an online app and then this plant is from Plant in This Place on Instagram. I just felt like I needed to add a little bit of greenery in my room. This fake, I tried taking care of plants before. It was good until it got really high maintenance for me and they're now dead. <laughs> Over here is my comfort room. I also have here a closet which I put my pants and the clothes that I tend to use every day, the clothes that I want to wear soon. Because whenever I pick an outfit, I usually start from this closet because this is also a closet. Let me do a little tour. I have here all of my blazers. I know it's quite a lot. Honestly, I think it's a lot. I think there was a time I was obsessed with blazers. I just had the feeling that I needed to have it in every color and now I do. I'm so proud of this because I've been looking for a headband store storage organizer thing for the longest time and I finally found one it's not the most stable for my gem headbands but everything else looks good 
I love it. Over here are more clothes that I've worn recently so that I don't get drawn to it. Like, I try to not wear it for now. It's acrylic boxes also. I have here the pouches that I use whenever I go to Laguna, whenever I travel. My toiletries pouch, my makeup pouch, and then I also organize my caps. So I have here like the French type of caps, and then I have here the workout caps and the casual caps. I have here my headbands, my bandanas, the ones that are made out of fabric. Here are just randos. My pillowcases for my throw pillows just so that it doesn't get mixed with everybody's pillows in this house. Yes, I live in house. I don't know why some people think I live in a condo or I live alone. I have here the hats with no structure. My underwear, which I will not show to you guys, but I also separated it, organized it in trays. And then I have here my skirts that are rolled. Thank you, Marie Kondo, for teaching me. I can see all of my skirts. Well, not all because there is still some underneath, but at least majority. I have here my aunt's swimwear. These are mine. It's overflowing, but I can guarantee you that once this is literally overflowing, like cannot close levels, I will discard some because that's the kind of girl that I am, which I will show you how it works in my makeup desk. Ta-da! This is my makeup area. I have my mirror over here. I just cover it because feng shui stuff, mirrors can't be in front of a bed. It's bad luck. I have here my lipsticks, which if ever it overflows, I do discard them. I don't think I need that many lipsticks in my life. So for my sponges and also my brush, the thought of my brush being exposed is just gross. It gets really dusty. I mean, even here. My contacts, my mouth spray. I also put here my eye drops whenever I go out and everything. My alcohol and also the jewelry that I usually wear. My brushes are on this side. Really, my policy here is once it doesn't fit, I have to let go of some. I survived with this amount of makeup, so why do I need more? It's kind of like my mindset. This mat is also very dirty at this point, but I really am happy that I have it. I have here my sunglasses, which actually in the bowasan. I used to have a lot more because I had like a sunglass obsession before. I don't know why, but I'm at a better place now. I don't have that obsession anymore. Here, it's just kalat talaga. Like, mostly my hair ties, my hair clamps that I got from shopping, fashion tape, lip roller, cotton that I used to clean my eyeshadow, some gems and scrunchies, some nail polishes. On top, I have here the board. Not so important. Just to organize some of my things, like over here, here I have my what do I have here? I have my I have my napkins over here and then extra toiletries like backups. Below I have here just some papers. I used to be really active in school, so I have like a lot of construction papers, bond papers, everything. I also have like some envelopes here, like results for like x-rays, ultrasounds, everything, because I'm a sickly girl. For some reason I get sick so often despite my attempt to a healthy lifestyle. I mean I drink water a lot, I work out a lot, but I don't know. The rest, more of my aunt actually. I try to make sure that all of my things have have its own home so if I don't know where to put it it's all here moving on first I have this PR package from vice that I still have not videoed but over here is a TV that I don't use anymore my camera equipments from GoPro to tripod lenses microphones over here is basically my essentials so for example I have here my masks that we don't really use it anymore, but it's just there. I like to keep it here. My emergency medicine pouch. I have another pouch for non-emergencies, but this is like anything sudden you can possibly think of. Essentials pouch. I usually use this for like long days where I put like my extra makeup, wet wipes, hair ties, masks, and everything. My nose is so itchy. It's so itchy. I hate it when the outside of my nose is so itchy and I get so conscious. It might look like I'm picking my nose. So right below, I just have some other stuff like other essentials. Really trying to make a home for everything. I guess the most important one is this box. My workout equipment, like my bands. Like different kinds of bands. Like booty bands, resistance bands, TRX, everything. And then over here is more of like the jump rope, the boxing gloves. I tried boxing before. I want to go back. I want to try like jujitsu boxing. See, I told you. I really try to be healthy, but for some reason, I'm so sickly. On top, it's just my favorite non-fiction books, favorite trilogies. Picture of me and my dog because I really love my dog. And guys, she's 15 now. This is like my one and only trophy in life. It's a trophy for being... 
pretty. I'm just kidding. I got this trophy from a mega style event. It's from Watson's and Ponds and they said I had really good skin. This entire side is basically like almost the same as the other side, but this is not mine. All of these are my aunt's. It's kind of private for her, so I will not show it. But this is where it gets real. This is usually where I hide everything, like PR. I have here this tray for the clothes that I want to sell, the clothes that I plan to sell. So whenever I see something na parang, oh, I want to let go of it already, I put it automatically here. My basket for my yoga mats and my tripods. And then I even have here this like breakfast table thing that I had during the pandemic. But I don't really use it anymore. Moving on to, I guess, the part where I'm the most proud the proudest. So this is, I guess, like one of the game changers in my room because before, if you guys reached Fridays with me or like my workout videos, I mean my fitness videos, I used to have a long table that I would share with my aunt, but then we decided to sell it just to make space for this area of my room, which I'm so happy about. I think it's like the most aesthetic part of my room. As anyone would have probably predicted, I needed more closet space. So this is like a dresser. From the top, I have here like some magazines that I don't care about besides the Vogue one. This is the first ever Vogue Philippines magazine issue. I felt like as a part of the fashion industry, I just needed to have that. And then this is an organizer that I got from Muji. I think you can buy similar ones in Shopee at a much cheaper price and I kind of am sad after I saw the prices online. Anyways, I have here jewelry like my necklaces, bracelets, and then over here my earrings, my rings, and a little more necklaces. Some of these are real, some are not. No one will ever know. I try not to hoard so much on jewelry. Like, it's really just this and the one that you saw a while ago in my makeup desk. And then some decor that I accumulated during the pandemic. I have this room spray. I got this from Mia Mason. I think that's how you say it. I just transferred it here because uh, it's cute. Then just some everyday pens, I guess, and scissors that I use a lot for my packages. My favorite candle. This is like the most effective scented candle I own. And it also smells really good. It's from Heart and Home. I got it from Fully Booked and it's in the scent Snow Angel. I really recommend it. Moving on to, I think, something that a lot of you guys tend to be interested in. This is the drawer for my sports bras. I have some in the laundry right now, but it's really just this amount. I try not to go overboard. It's not like I work out every single day. My leggings and my shorts, my cycling shorts. Yeah, this is like a messy version of the Marie Kondo way of folding clothes. I'm just happy that now I can see everything. So if I want to get something, I just get it. If I forget about something, I can see it. I just have my sleepwear here. It's a bit messy, but I tend to not go overboard because sleepwear, it's just sleepwear. I don't need so much of it. So over here, I have the non-hangerable clothes. Basically, tube tops. Kind of hard to explain. I also used acrylic trays for this one just so that it's a bit more divided because these are clothes with like zero structure. Here, I have like more workout tops, like huge ass shirts and then crop tops, even padded sandals or padded camis. I have here measuring tape and huge scissors. You know, I should use this more often. And then just some highlighters that I used in college for law classes. Not interesting, actually. This is so tiring. Oh, I think I can open this a bit now. This is my workspace. This is my planner right now, which I hate how it's so bold blue, but it was just given to me. There used to be a lamp here, like a cute mushroom lamp that's worth 1k something. But I broke it twice already, like it shattered into pieces. Just because, like every time I want to film like an IG story, I usually do it here. And then I put down the lamp, and then one time I was trying to get it up, and then this bag just went like that, and I smashed it. <laughs> I do have plans of looking for another lamp, but maybe not. Something made out of entirely glass. So there's a hole for the sockets because underneath this table, it's actually a place for the sockets. Before, I used to have the charger from a laptop here, but then I realized I really use my laptop more beside my bed. I'll show you for one second. I also have here my luggage that I usually use for like whenever I go to Laguna because that's like where my mom's family side lives. I like going there, like I visit there, so this is what I use. That's why it's just here in my room. For the chair, I just got this one from like an online IG brand, but then I think it's available in Lazada. And then just a blanket. At first, I bought it for like interior purposes, like decor, but then I actually tend to use it. And then just a neck pillow for long hours of editing, which 
I haven't been using but I'll use it again a lot. These are the tinier bags that I tried arranging by color. And then over here are more of like the huge tote bags, backpacks, everything. And this is my bed. I get questions where I got this bed frame but it's actually like all the way from my mom. So I don't think it's something you can purchase anymore. Yeah, I really like how the bed kind of ties up everything in my room. I think the room is very me. I really like how almost a lot of my things, almost all of my things have its own home. And I really recommend that you guys do that as well. But yeah, I hope you guys like this very first episode of Life and Episodes. I hope to continue to give you more like rawness and unfiltered versions of me. No promises, but I'll try to see you guys next week. Bye!